Genki Call here with a tiny tutorial for you on how to keep track of your kingdom's power levels and when you're going to be able to upgrade them. So by power levels I mean this one right here. Increasing your power level will get you lots of extra um, resources in the game. It will get you gems and glory and souls and gold. Gold, gold, gold. Lots of, of um, lots of tributes, which is fantastic. But keeping track of all of this information is really difficult. I have a system in place to help me with that now. But before, I used to go from kingdom to kingdom and seeing, okay, can I upgrade anything here? Let's see. Do I have anything that I can upgrade to level 20 here? You know, it's it's a lot of a lot of kingdoms to track, but I have a something for you that's going to be very helpful, and that is the site Gemologica. Gemologica is your go-to progress tracker for Gems of War power levels. It's fantastic. I'm going to teach you how to use it right now, and there is a link to the site in the description for this video below. Um, first of all, you have to enter your invite code and you know put down what platform you're using and to get your invite code you go to settings and it's right here at the bottom left invite code there's my invite code so I would type that in and I would retrieve the information and it takes a second to load but once it loads what you're going to see is something like this so how do you read this I mean this there's a lot of information here <laughs> It's fantastic. I love it. And it's going to have little boxes here that show you that you can hover over and get more information, which is awesome. So it's like, what is this red star here? Oh, this class has unassigned talents. So I went over this in another video. Sometimes when you copy somebody else's team code, it puts in the talents that they've chosen. And if they're not as high level as you are, it wipes out the choices you already had. So I can see here, I have a couple that I need to go fix. So right off the bat, just like that, I've got something that's gonna help me here. As far as reading this information, I mean, this is pretty easy. Classes, it shows what level you're at on that. And it looks like, wow, there's even more information than I knew here. So just tons and tons of information on this site. But as far as tracking your power level, what you want to look at is this part here that's in this orangey tan color. Anything that is lighter colored like this is something you've already completed. So we've got task one, task two, and task three. You can see I'm hung up on a lot of mythics and pets here. Um, but some of it is it'll show me, hey, I didn't realize that I needed to increase my room priest and I only need another 99 experience apparently to get that done. Trait 23 troops. Can I do it? It says need and can. Can I do it? Nope, because I'm missing the will of Nisha. Level 24 troops to level 20. Missing one copy of Scurvy Sea Dog to get this done. So it's really great. I also had one over here that it was showing level a pet to level 20, right? And then in the can uh, column over here, it, it was green and it said one and I was confused. I looked at my pets in that um, that kingdom and I didn't understand what it was talking about till I hovered over it and saw that it would meant uh, that it was the mim mimicophagus from Qatar. It was a um, um, campaign pet, decorative only. I don't ever level those in, unless I have enough to get it to level 20 and I had forgotten to do it. So this site is just Gemologica is a gem of a site. It's fantastic. I highly recommend checking it out. And it's pretty easy to understand 
just hover over anything that doesn't make any sense to you and hopefully you'll be able to figure it out. If not, there are plenty of people that can help you, probably just even in global or in your guild chat. So I hope this has been helpful. Find the links for this site down below. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.